Do you, would you say that, uh, I mean, Belarusia follows more the boxing style schooling more than the kicking versus the Serbians, which as we saw in the, the first two fights, they, 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 they did use the kicks? You know, today, uh, today all uh, kickboxing school, it's, it's, um, it's, 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 it's different, really. If we will compare maybe the, for the, with the progress, the five last years, yeah. they are really adapted, to the, okay, if you, are, if you are going to meet with the Thai fighters, okay, they are adapted for the knee. If you are going to box, boxer fight, okay, they are adapting to, uh, to keep the distance for the box uh, match. But now, what, what we will see, it's, it will be a really classical um, clash because they are, they are both a little bit comp we, we can compare the both schools because, okay, they are good in boxing, they are good in kickboxing, they are both did a really good job uh, in an amateur uh, style. But now they are switching on to the professional line and we will see who is more ready. So there's, there's really been almost a revolution now in the Eastern European kickboxing schools where they're, they're taking on more and more of, uh, of they're bringing more and more uh, of the Thai style and they're able to adapt based on different fighters. All right, we're gonna let Sergey go right now. We're gonna come back with him in just a little bit, uh, a little bit later in the fight. Uh, he has to go run around, but we'll bring him back a little bit later and talk to him some more because we're gonna talk a little bit more about the fights going on with Rebuy Stars and the whole relationship. We have two more fights this year, but just stick with us for a little bit. Right now, we got a fight to announce, and we'll be right back. I'm going to invite to the blue corner, Max Spadarenko! Before the fight begins, tell us a little bit about this uh, Rebuy Stars relationship. We have a European league now with W5, uh, where it's relationship between yourself and Rebuy Stars. You, you know, what? Uh, it um, was a really big decision uh, with the owner of Rebuy Stars. Uh, it was the first step in Vienna when we met each other and speak more about how to join two different lines, you know, okay? A casino, gambling houses. It, this is um, the game, you know, how to, how to join, how to compare, how to, how to say for the both lines at the same time, kickboxing and, uh, and the gambling house. Just, I think only one, one, one idea can join it, can explain it to be brave, to make a decision. On the both sides, the same meaning. If you are brave, you can get the success. Yeah. This is what the idea, to create that way, to give the chance for the fighters, to give the chance to the people to see what does it mean to be brave. Yes, which is, the, which is your motto, fortune favors the brave. Yes, and finally, you have to choose the way of a champion. You do have to choose the way yeah. of the champion, and W5 does do that. And I, I really have to say that, you know, with every with every show and every fight, it just gets better and better and better. Uh, what I would like to say, the family of W5 is expanding, and all members of uh, W5, it's a big part of uh, our improvement. Not possible to do everything alone, you know? And we are trying to, uh, to work with the professionals. With the people who love what they are doing, it yes. makes us happy and more progressive. So right now we are about to kick off our next fight. We have, again, Marco Adamovich versus Max Spadarenko. These are both two very strong fighters. They're in the center of the ring right now getting the, uh, the instructions from the referee. The judges are now going to be asked if they're ready, the ju side judges. And the first round will be on the way. Uh, Marco will be fighting out of the red corner, and Max will be in the blue corner.
Both fighters are aggressive fighters. Yes, they will they come prefer, after each other. Yeah, they prefer to work on the a really close distance. They are good in boxing. Yes. They feel each other. They can work with a low kick. As I said, they are really adapted for the opponent style. If they are meeting with the Thai fighters, okay, let's be focused on knee. But now, this is really typical uh, style for the really advanced school. And you've no, already we'll seen see, so yes. far very early they're going with those low kicks a lot, kicks to the midsection, and they're really bringing it. A lot of a lot of already punches and kicks thrown very early on. Very aggressive stance by both fighters. Marco right now seeming to push his tempo, uh, or Max pushing his Marco pushing his tempo a little bit more than Max right now. Max is see backing up. Both they are really good in the ring. They fill the space. Then I think uh, they are not in a hurry with the, in the first round. Yeah. Uh, all our audience, they um, know about the Max Podorenko. Uh, he was uh, also like a guarantee to move hurt, to, to show the good fight, tough fight, and he's never stepped back. Yeah. His uh, last fight was for, with W5 was two years ago, if I'm not yeah. mistaken, correct? <laughs> yeah, maybe yeah. around two years, yes. But you know, he's nine times uh, Bel uh, Belarusian champion. I had actually had a chance to talk to him. He's a really nice guy, uh, as are most of the fighters. And uh, Always smile, yeah. always yeah. in a good mood. And I think he's a really professional and really attractive guy. Yes, and very polite. Yeah. Very polite, but all the if fighters you are, are like If that. you are a really strong guy, you're also always polite, because you don't need to show yourself as a you're so powerful guy. Be, you, be yourself, and the people will say who, who you are. So far in this very early on in the first fight, you're seeing two very technically sound fighters. You had uh, Max right now was backed up into the corner by Marco, and straight away he does that, leg, that straight leg kick, pushes Max back, gets some breathing room. A lot of punches being thrown there, landing it. Oh, I nice straight nice leg kick. That one just pushed yes, Max nice straight back into the corner. A lot of power by, uh, by Max. Pushed Marco back, I'm sorry. They are both in the good conditions, for sure. Yeah. I like how you, if you watch Max straight away, he throws his punches, his kicks, brings out his gloves straight up and goes right uh -huh. into defense mode. You see a lot of fighters a lot of times, they like to keep their gloves down, yes. uh, almost in a showboating way, and they, they, keep their, they keep exposed, which is always a risk in kickboxing. Yes. You get a good leg to the head and you're going to go down. But you see, they are working on the difference, uh, as we are saying in boxing and kickboxing, different flow. Yeah. You know, they can switch on immediately from the low kick to the head See? a very yeah. well balanced fight a lot of punches a lot of kicks evenly matched right now a very good first round a lot of action and very aggressive it's the type of fights we like to see aggressive fights it was close first round but now i i i'm not able to say who is more better they are so close uh, same style yeah. and I don't know how to calculate the scores. It's, it was close r uh, round. Well, this is where I think the second round becomes very vital because in the second round they've got to see the signs that each one gives when they're going to throw a punch or a kick. Uh, they've been able to now uh, adapt in the corner. The coaches see it. They can give them instructions. We'll see which one adapts better here in the second round as that will obviously be a big factor here. As I think the second round in a lot of cases when you have two very technically sound strong fighters it's, it's where you get your edge for the second and third round a lot of times happens here. Marco coming out straight away, throwing a combination, a good left-right. Max with that knee, that one landed, got right through the defense of Marco. Started with the hands and finished with the low kick. Yes. It's typical decision for Adamovich. I know him. He's, he's, it's, it's typical combination for him. But I, I don't know, maybe Max it's already noticed what, have, what he has to do. I'll tell you right now, though, Max is very strong. You can, you can see every time he throws that kick, you can hear that each kick and each punch when it lands. You, I can, I mean, we're sitting ringside, and I can hear it. There's a pop every single time. He has a lot of power behind his punches and kicks. Yeah. Very powerful fighter. Close fight, really close yes. fight. Nice to see. I think people are really excited. To see. And both fighters right now showing very strong chins because they each have landed very good punches on each other. 
and both n neither fighter's phase right now. They're just like, you know what, let's do it. Let's get in the center of the ring and duke it out and see which one's standing last. <laughs> Very aggressive fight, a lot of punches being thrown. Neither fighter right now phased at all by the other one. It's gonna take a big punch or a big kick to really knock someone down here. Do you see an advantage so far out of any fighter in this fight? Right now, to me, it seems very evenly matched. I, I think Adamo is in, in the second round more aimed. He's throwing more. He's definitely the aggressor. All the time, one, two, three, one, yeah. two, three, and finish this low kick. It's, it's good. Very technically sound, you see that when he throws his punches, just like they teach you. But a, a, a lot of punches uh, landing for the, to the protection. Yeah, yeah, a lot of blocking. Yeah. But you know, even blocking, it can but still wear your opponent down. That was a big all, right hook. All his low kicks are successful, I think. Nice right jab by, by Marco. Okay, I, I, I would like to wish you to, to <laughs> follow the live stream. To, Thank you, to, Sergei. Yes, I, I have to go. Come back, and say, yeah, come back yeah. and say hi to us. We always love seeing you over yeah. here. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Sergei. Yeah, That's Sergei yeah. Chipanoga, president of W5. A point taken away from Marco. Hey. Nice body shot by Marco. As Sergey rightly pointed out, a lot of punches and kicks getting blocked right now. A couple are falling through. Nothing has really stunned either fighter. Oh, there's a big knee by Marco. That one landed underneath the protection of Max. He took it though. Didn't even phase him, and that was a good knee to the chin. It is those kind of shots that can really stun your opponent. Max ready for it. A definitely evenly matched first and second round. Good fight so far, two strong fighters, technically sound. The problem here now is if either fighter thinks they're winning by points, they're gonna have a harder time trying to come out to be the real aggressor to try and get that knockdown to win the third round. We could be seeing our first fight in quite a, quite a few tournaments that might go to the fourth round. We'll see what happens in the third round. Very exciting. When watching these fights, obviously seeing aggressive fighters, it makes it a lot more fun. Here you see a nice left by Marco landing to the body. There's that chin, that knee to the chin by Marco, which landed. Max had his own later on in the round. And those knees to the chin can really put a fighter on his back. Fighters. This is the third and final round of a very exciting fight. So far, it has seemed that Marco has controlled the tempo a little bit more in this fight, which could be his advantage. We'll see how the judges look at it. Nice right to the body by, by Max, by Marco. See that combination by Marco, but nothing landing, all being blocked. But it's good because in the end of the day, even if you keep hitting on the, the blocking, even though he's wearing energy, hopefully it'll hurt and your opponent's gloves will come down. You see those again. Max is like, come on, dude, you're not even hitting me. It's all glove. But the aggressor is Marco right now. Marco definitely being the aggressor in this fight. He's throwing more punches, being blocked or not being blocked. He wants the victory. Max conserving his energy, waiting for an opening. Marco doing a good job of keeping his defense up, not allowing it. Max has to try and find and time a good opening and just land a great shot. But even Marco being the aggressor here definitely weighs in favor for him with the judges. And right now Max throwing very few punches and kicks. It's all Marco here in the third round. Very technically that, one, two, three. Landing a nice little shot to the body. He's going after that body. Follows up with a kick. 
All combinations coming from Marco. Nice left by Max. There's a right uppercut by Marco. Max got a strong chin. He's taking a couple good shots tonight. Neither fighter has been phased by the other fighter at all in tonight's fight. Not one stunning, not even remote. Looked like the other uh, opponent was stunned. Marco, I, I believe, is winning this round. He is landing some of those punches. Oh, nice right-left combination. Body head by Marco. Max just missing a big uppercut. Nice right hook by Marco. Max, look at Max showing a little showboating. Left leg to the body. He's saying, no, you can hit me, but I don't feel it. You're not that strong. I can take a lot more than this. 20 seconds left. Unfortunately, I think Max's chances of winning this fight are slowly coming to an end. Marco, the dominant, aggressive fighter here in the third round for sure. The first fight wasn't so much. I think it was very even. The second round, maybe even. But for sure, Marco was the aggressor. He controlled the third round. That is the end of the fight. That is the end of the third round. An exciting third round, an exciting fight. But I have to say that I think, I think Marco's going to pull out the victory. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll go to a fourth round. Decisions. So we do have a decision for the ceremony of the Royal You can see, look at the numbers. Max throwing 205 total punches to 108. He doubled. BOB Group Peter Kara, manager. And uh, Humbly Houses Rabbi Sars. Marco throwing 205. Adam Sorry. Adam Sikurchin, operations manager. If you're lucky, I think you get a split decision out of this, but I believe unanimous to Marco Adamovich. He was the aggressor. He landed a lot more punches, even the ones though they were blocked. I think victory's gonna go to him. Let's hear what I like Navision has to say about it. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is by a unanimous decision. Fighter from the Red Crown. Marco, Marco the Doctor. Doctor Anamovic. Winning by unanimous decision. The third round is what won it for him. I think we could have gotten to a split decision or a fourth round had it not been for that third round. Marco doing a great job, very aggressive, controlled the tempo, and even though he didn't land every one of his punches, you know, it still weighs in favor with the judges on who's the aggressor, who controls the tempo, and he definitely did that. Congratulations to Marco and Max. A very good fight, very exciting. A lot of punches nah, thrown. Buck the world. Yeah, buck the world. I like this. Yeah.